Now, the sheriff's office tells us no new school resource officer is assigned to East Ridge right now. Chattanooga's chapter of the NAACP will meet with the sheriff and school superintendent this week over the incident. Our Liam Collins spoke with the man who started the school resource officer program for insight. Liam. Cindy, former Deputy Chief Charles Lurie spoke very generally about, with me about the role of a SRO. He said they are once they are only called once there is a reasonable evidence a crime has been committed. Take the backpack off. We finna go to jail. Don't resist me, dude. That officer should not be the one to discipline the students. But NAACP President Ann Pierre says she sees this as some of the most extreme forms of discipline. She had concerns the first time she saw this cell phone video of Deputy Tyler McRae attempting to take 18-year-old Taurus Sledge into custody. That was before the sheriff's office released the full body camera video of the hour-long interaction. Get your hands off me. And it was just as disturbing as the short one I received. This particular situation could cause this young man to have just a stop in his career. Sledge was charged with resisting arrest, disorderly conduct, and assault. Take the bag off. Take the bag off. Take it off. He did not know the physical condition of that child. Using pepper spray on him could have killed him. That responsibility is the safety and security of the students, the faculty, and the, and the staff. Charles Laurie started uh, Hamilton well County School Resource Officer Program more than 25 years ago. He spoke with Local 3 News generally about the role of an SRO. There is no guideline that says this is what you do in every single situation because all situations are different. Deputy McRae has since requested to be reassigned after the incident. According to the sheriff's office, his position has not been refilled yet, adding to the shortage of school resource officers. There are nine open positions for school resource deputies in the school district. Pierre plans to argue for better training for the position. They need to be trained, plus they need to be vetted. That should not be a place to put someone you want to take off the street. Local 3 News asked for an on-camera interview with Sheriff Austin Garrett about the incident. A spokesperson denied our request. We also asked for an interview with Superintendent Justin Robertson, as we have been since this story broke, but we have not yet heard back on that request.